guys, Lego Prime Films here, back with another video finally. So this is my Lego Dark of the Moon Leadfoot, and this guy turned out really good, I think. Actually, th this guy's been built for a long time. He was the second Transformer that I built after Christmas, so one of the first ones that I ever built. And I just decided to wait to do a video of him whenever I was working on a big Transformer. So I'm working on my version four Devastator right now. So that one that you guys saw in the, uh, the other video for a couple minutes, he's actually my version three. So I took him apart and I'm working on my version four Devastator right now. Um, yeah, I mean, I decided to do this guy now because I'm only halfway done with Devastator. Maybe three quarters of the way done, but it's going to be a while and I might have another Transformer video in between. I'm not sure yet. Might do a few more quick builds later on. But Devastator used it most of my pieces. Here he is right here. So... Um, yeah, this guy actually was one of the first ones I made, and he remains one of my favorites, too, because of how accurate he is, I think. I feel like he's pretty accurate to the movie. There's some spaces here, like, in between there that should have been filled in. But I did add all of it. Like, he has his boosters back there. He has a little cannon booster things, whatever they are, up here, too. Um, I mean, yeah, I think this is pretty accurate, and from the side, I mean, he kind of got, like, that flame look, like, everything, like, curves up smooth, and actually how he does in the movie, so, yeah, and I got a turntable, well, as you say, we made one, so, here he is, size by a Lego minifig. So obviously the size comparison is not accurate, sadly, but I still think it's pretty good. Um, here is size by my um, Lego G1 Optimus Prime. So, I mean, you can see these guys look pretty cool together. Um, yeah. Uh, here you size by my Lego Revenge of the Fallen Jolt, except I will probably not be doing a video of this guy. If you want. A video of this guy then say it down below in the comments otherwise I will probably not make a video because he's not great um, but if you want to I guess I could always do that like in between while I'm working on Devastator in a couple days but he's not great this guy I actually built before Leadfoot and Leadfoot was the next one that I built so it's kind of funny how that works. This guy didn't turn out very good. Lead foot turned out really good. So. Alright. It's pretty much all for that. Um, let's get to the transformation. So the first thing you want to do. Is you want to bring this up. And this piece up. And then you want to get his leg and bring it. Bring it out. And get his leg and bring it out. So I use his legs to tuck in here. Bring it out just like that. But I feel like it did create the look pretty well. So... Now, 
under here, get his head, bring it out, bring his arms down. Get his legs, rotate them, all just like that, rotate. Now, get this piece and rotate it. Slide this piece back and rotate right here on this hinge, just like that. And bring it back down and rotate it in. And rotate this piece, slide this up, rotate it, bring this piece back down. Slide it down here. This guy's instructions are on Bricklink. So all you have to do is go to the search bar and type in Leadfoot and it should be the first one to show up. Bring this out. Bring this out. Bring this up just like that. Bring his head, just get it away. Get this piece here, bring it down and down. Just sit like that. Bring these. Bring this wheel in. Bring this wheel in. Now bring it down. That was my bad. Just like that. Bring this piece out. Bring this piece out. Bring his arms down. Just like that. Bring his head up and place it down just like that. like that and here's my lego dark moon lead foot in his robot mode so this guy does stand up he's just being uncooperative there we go so i think this guy turned out really good he is very accurate to the movies i feel like and for such a simple transformation too. Like, I mean, there's not a bunch of like hinges and joints and all that, you know, it kind of just, kind of just folds together. So here he is by a Lego minifigure. So still not accurate, but it's okay. And here he is by My Lego Dark the Moon Optimus Prime. And I think these guys look really good together. Like, really good. So. I mean, yeah, they just, they look so good. So, here they are. From the side, all three of them. And here it is from the back. And Optimus looks like he's about to fall down. So, yeah. This looks really good, I think. These guys just look amazing together. And I mean, 
Yeah. So, honestly, that's pretty much it for this video. Again, I don't really have much to show on this guy. But, you know, yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, my instructions will be, uh, they already are on BrickLink, actually. My instructions for this guy are on BrickLink, and they are step-by-step. -step. So... If you really want instructions, you can go there. Um, please like and subscribe. Because then I will make more videos. So. That's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.